Hey, I'm Alina with Awaken Catholic. For those of us fortunate enough to live in a country with religious freedoms, it can be difficult to grasp the concept of being truly persecuted for our faith. Sure, we might have some tense moments at school or with our family or friends when our Christian morals collide with theirs. Some people might be in a position where a job or relationship might have to be sacrificed or is unfairly taken away because of their faith. But rarely in the US, thank God, do we see people literally being killed for being Christian. The reality is that for centuries, this just wasn't the case. Our Christian ancestors had to make bold and difficult choices to defend the church. Today, we remember St. Digna of Cordoba, one of the 50 Christian martyrs slain by Muslim invaders in Spain from the years 850 to 859. This young nun died with two of her Christian brothers, St. Anastasius and Felix. Digna saw the culture of her country shift rapidly as Muslims invaded southern Spain into Cordoba. As their power over the region grew, so too did Islamic law, which purposefully oppressed and targeted Jews and Christians. Eventually, this grew into full-blown persecution, as we see in the case of St. Digna and her fellow martyrs. This young religious refused to hide or run away. Something I love about Digna's story is that after seeing her friends Felix and Anastasius tortured and killed, she actually reproached the executioners for their mean behavior towards her friends. Granted, they beheaded her promptly after this, unfortunately. In a land where we are granted so many freedoms, it is so important for us to never forget how easily they can be stripped away. Already, we've seen a shift in our post-Christian culture of what the future could look like. A few points to take away. First, we need each other. And secondly, no matter how seemingly insignificant they may be, even little battles of the soul require dying to ourselves. We may not be facing firing squads right now, but never underestimate the small victories you win every day. We are doing battle against unseen enemies, and to me, that's almost more difficult than boldly striding into a stadium to declare your faith as a Christian. It's so much less exciting to fight an invisible enemy and so much less rewarding, and there lies the difficulty. Fight a good fight today, friends. And Saint Digna of Cordoba, ora pro nobis. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is a three-minute daily show that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic. Spoke Street Media, amplifying the voice of the creator by fostering content that invites. For more podcasts, visit spokestreet.com. Awaken Catholic, bringing people to truth through beauty by leveraging the power of media, pilgrimages, community, and events. You can follow Awaken Catholic on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.